screen and he just makes wonderful wonderful pieces now you guys might have seen the original piece that i got from him a while back ago called maze and it's a beautiful 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 piece love the design first person to really start to integrate a lot of spaces in his work and it just came out fantastic and then he made this second one the corsair and he made this as a special gift for me he actually made it with the spinnercraft logo and cap on there look at that how amazing is that what a beautiful, beautiful gift. But uh, if you get it without it, of course, it, it doesn't, if you get it normally from him, it doesn't have that on it. But it, you can see just the work and the craftsmanship that he does and puts in his pieces. Uh, it's really, really, really nice. I mean, obviously, this isn't this isn't a twenty, thirty dollars spinner. Uh, there was a lot of work put into this and a lot of finish that was done by hand. Uh, of course, they all come with ceramic bearings, and it's just a stunning piece has a nice, nice, easy, easy spin. You can get a nice warp with it when you're outside in the light. And more than anything, I just love how the caps are. They're so smooth, they're super low profile. It does an amazing job with a nice low profile cap. Not a lot of gap there. Uh, so you don't get really any wiggle here, which is awesome. And it makes just for a nice little play with the cap when you kind of just give it a little spin like that. So, this is uh, one of my top five for this month. Really, really digging that. Uh, thanks so much, Pazniakwa. The next spinner we're going to talk about in our top five today is the Hex Baller. And this is an awesome, awesome spinner. Now, first of all, obviously it looks beautiful even at slow spins. And when you get this outside, you can get some amazing, amazing shots in the light. As you can see even here just now. It's obviously reminiscent of the Big Baller for those of you that got the Big Baller. This is the crowd favorite. Everybody likes this because of the ways you can mod it out. You can put half one color here, half one color there. You can swap the caps. You can take a ball out if you want. You can change the weights. I mean, this is so fun. It was great for tricking. And this is just a big jump from the traditional standard, you know, ABS style spinner. We're jumping to something like this, and then we jump from something like this just to a different style and a layout with a hex spinner. Instead of it being a two-arm spinner, this is more of a unibody spinner. Um, I guess you could kind of call it six mini arms, but it's probably more of a unibody spinner. And look at that, I mean, just easy, easy spins, stunning design. And the thing that I really like about this is it comes in the new rubberized plastic. So when you get a feel here, it actually has a bit of a different feel than the big baller. It has a nice, almost feels like a padded, cushy feel. The spins are super easy. Anywhere you put your finger, um, you're going to get a nice flip out of this. This is by far one of our favorites. The guys on the pro team are using this all the time. You get great, great tricks out of this spinner. Uh, and it's a hardy spinner. And it's just, it's just fun overall. And the same thing, just like this, you can mod this out and you can swap colors. You can do half one color, half the other color if you want. Um, just a great, great spinner for $10. Um, and this one we actually, this is the one that we actually offer right on our site on Spinnercraft. So great trick spinner, um, just like the Big Baller, $10 price, just like the Big Baller, and uh, pretty much you can get it shipped almost anywhere. Okay guys, the next one this month is the UFO Spinner. Now, I don't know if you guys recognize this, but this was submitted during the do-it-yourself contest that we had by Dave over at Gadget Tech. And I've been playing with it so much. It was one of the do-it-yourselfers, and I'm kind of hooked on it. I love the big buttons. I love the length of the arms. It's been so fun. Um, so I decided to include it because it's just cool. Um, Dave has a store where he has these all available. This is 3D printed, but it's a much higher quality than the average ones that you would get at home. Um, this is done professionally, and it looks professionally. Now, if you go check out Dave's website, you'll find that he, sells, he doesn't sell them complete, but he sells the pieces, which I kind of think is really cool. So you can kind of modify and create one for yourself. Not only is this spinner um, have these big, beautiful, easy buttons for tricking, it has an amazing, amazing computer feel, hand feel. Spins super easy. Here's you obviously can see the gray boards. It's a little bit loud, but, but it's expected because this spin is just
you lose one and then I think this is a really fun feature too it comes with this little spinning top uh, insert so you can go ahead and pop the caps off you can put the insert in you can get this spinning and then you can go ahead and put it on the ground or something like that and you can get a nice little top spin out of it and one of the coolest features that I like and that you probably already noticed is is there's no screws on this so there's no screws there's no opportunity or chance to strip anything this is actually held in place by the bearing so if you want to take this apart, you just literally push the bearing out, and that's it. Now you can swap colors, and that's super easy. Definitely no way of messing that up. Um, it makes swapping colors super simple, and that's it. It's as simple as that. So definitely go check out the Lil Baller. This is one that we have right on our site on Spinnercraft. You can see the link above if you'd like. This is definitely, definitely one of our top five, especially for being such a multi-use spinner. Guys, number five from Metallic Revolutions, the 357 spinner. Look at this thing. I mean, I don't promote guns. I don't promote guns on this channel by any means, but this thing is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, obviously in the shape of the 357 Magnum, it has these beautiful brass slugs here. It spins like a dream. I mean, it spins beautiful. You can see the, the slugs go around there. You can also get them in uh, silver if you'd like as well. But here's the coolest thing about this. I mean, check this out. We flip this over, and on the back, these are glow-in-the-dark slugs. So one side's brass, the other side is a glow-in-the-dark slug, and you can spin this and you can see the glow at night. And let me tell you how cool this is. See these, see these little slugs? Oh yeah. These things pop out, and let me tell you, they are a perfect fit. There is no messing around. This is amazing. I mean, each one of these is hand done, has a nice little seal at the top, uh, has a beautiful slug, and just go. You could even probably have fun with it. You could probably go two one way and two the other way, and it'll probably create a nice little fun pattern when you give it a spin. When it's all glowing, same thing here. I mean, it's just a great, great, great spinner. I love it. I love the size of it. I love the style. I love how they did these slugs. I mean, it's just, I mean, there is, those aren't coming out. 
This is this is machine and precision uh, to the umpth degree. And this is a high-end spinner, obviously. This was $165, you know, compared to, uh, you know, a $10 spinner, or maybe that's gonna be $15, $20 once you piece things together. Um, you know, like another one that's in the $10, $11 range. And then these ones were more high-end. These are, um, I think, in the $100 range. Um, but, so this is definitely the most expensive one that we've gone through but it's just a beautiful piece and if you are a fan and are into something like this I'll tell you you probably you're not going to be you're not going to be uh, disappointed of course everybody has a different price range you know this one's $165 and most people aren't going to be able to afford that to be quite honest if I wasn't doing these for reviews I probably wouldn't be buying as many in the upper price range as well but it's a collector's piece you know, it took me, I think, a month and a half before this was made available, and my name was put on a list, and there's, you know, 700, 800 people on that list. So, if that's your thing and you really want to look for something like that, then I highly suggest you check this out. Um, but I know a lot of times, just the $10 one is cool for most of you guys, and that's totally fine. But I want to show you the whole range so you can understand what's out there and what's going on in the market. So guys, again, let's just line them up. We got our top five. Boom. We got the one from Gadget Tech. Go check out the link in the description. 357 from Metallic Revolutions. We've got the Hex Baller from Spinnercraft. We've got the Corsair from Pozniakoff. And last but not least, we got the Little Baller from Spinnercraft. Thanks guys so much. Now, let me answer one question for you. I know a lot of people have said, hey, you're talking about the ones that you sell in there. How come you're talking about the ones that you sell? Like, are you just saying that? Well. Guys, this is how it works. I go and I research and I go and I try to find some of the best spinners for you and I try to present them the next month. So if I've done research and I'm looking and I find an amazing spinner that I can show you guys, well, of course it's gonna be in my top five that month because I just searched really hard trying to find that spinner for you. It's not like I'm doing a top five and just saying, hey, what do I have in stock? 